Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome to Bedtime Stories. Tonight we are going to read a book called Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. I hope you enjoy it. It all began when Floyd got his kite stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favourite shoe to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. He threw up his other shoe to knock down his favourite shoe and unbelievably that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. You see Mitch there, the little kitty? Cats get stuck in trees all the time. Well, this was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And he threw it up. I'm sure you can guess what happened. <laughs> the ladder was borrowed from a neighbour and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. Now wouldn't you know, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then Floyd tried a duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, their front door to knock down the kitchen sink, the family car to knock down their front door. Hello. Someone's trying to find their way into the house. The milkman to knock down the family car. With the milkman saying, did you get up here the same way? He's talking to the cat. Can you see that? And a brand new tank to knock down the milkman, who surely had somewhere else to be. Is that copper pot? A small boat to knock down the orangutan. A big boat to knock down the small boat. A, a, a rhinoceros to knock down the big boat. A long distance lorry to knock down the rhinoceros. The house across the street because, you know, his own house wasn't good enough and couldn't be thrown his own house up. The house across the street to knock down the long distance lorry. Wow, he must have the powers of the Hulk, he's so strong. A lighthouse to knock down the house the longer across the street. What, a whale? Hi, what are you doing? A curious will in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. And they all got stuck. Can you see everything there? What can you see? And there's the neighbour from across the street saying, Wait till I tell your mother! <sighs> a fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. And they went, and up they went. First the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. And there they stayed stuck between the orangutan 
and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he'd, been in, he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea, and went to find a saw. Ooh, I wonder what he's going to do there. He lined it up as best he could, and hurled it up the tree. <laughs> there it goes. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree, and the kite, pop, came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite, and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep, exhausted. But before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea, says one of the firemen. Wow, I hope you had a lovely, had a, and really enjoyed that story. Really put a smile on my face. So, let us pray just a little bit before we go to sleep. I pray that you will have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful time with your family and a wonderful night's sleep. Good night.